Hello everyone and welcome for another episode of Nomad Survival Road to 100%. Today we are going to try to do a Divine Fox Bringer. Um, where is the Fox Bringer? Level 4 run. Uh, wait. Uh, Divine Fox Bringer. 100% only level 4 map and yeah no modifiers and without further ado let's start this is only like two times the speed I'm trying to see if uh, by going only two times if the um, how can I say if the game will crash or not because yeah I I'm not really sure about that I guess I will try take throwing through my rungs so yeah and fireballs why not these are good weapons uh, to take I mean of course almost everything is good weapon in this game when when you are playing max level so yeah um i'm not expecting to have a lot of troubles with this run because uh, i am fully upgraded uh, i guess i have the cat pad which should heal me on critical hit and uh, the critical rate that i have also applies to it so yeah should be pretty powerful combo and yeah with insta kill chance it's even better because i think that the insta kill can also um, um how can i say it can trigger on uh, the ticks of the fox bringer well let's reroll and not that not that it matters what i'm building I can do whatever I want and I will still win pretty easy but still I I want to have a bit of fun and uh, yeah try to build a lot of fireballs because I like fireballs I'm not a pyromaniac anyway <laughs> but yeah in this game the fireballs they are very powerful um, so yeah they, they can dish a lot of uh, damage in a short amount of time and this is what makes them powerful no oh, skill size why not it's important to have a lot of skills and yeah i can take hp regen but for the moment i don't see the point uh, i'm barely taking damage and uh, yeah not uh, not really afraid of, of it so yeah more crit or more cat crit my friendly cat uh, health and uh, soon there will be the illusory plants that I will have to cut uh, I guess they will spawn far away from me uh, which is fine so yeah, yeah, they did spawn far away from me. I I need like level level thirty of this uh, of these guys. Um, yeah, I guess I can take the other way because uh, I want to be able to move while uh, uh, firing my uh, skill. Oh. and yeah now I'm taking a bit of damage not a lot but still yeah they, they will quickly very quickly die to, to my fox bringer thingy so yeah the ticks are high now so I guess 
yeah, let's let's see what we can get. Uh, I actually want something for my fireballs, and I got exactly what I wanted for my fireballs. And now I want something for my spectral bow, and I will also take more power for my main skill. So my fireball is basically fully upgraded by relics, and uh, yeah, now I'm working on my spectral bow. And yeah, a bit more experience never hurt. So yeah. Should be fun. The all of these guys should die pretty quickly. And uh, more experience for me. Yay! So yeah, projectile speed double. So I only need my um, bouncing daggers to, to upgrade them, and it would be fine. But they have more damage. Anyway, um, since this is not a very a lot to talk about, it does yeah. With all upgrades, you are very overpowered uh, and not really in any danger. To, to lose. Maybe a bit if you cannot dodge things correctly, but shouldn't be a problem anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, I was wondering about some some things um, uh, this this week since I was. Uh, going to visit my parents in the countryside and I was yeah looking there and uh, I, I, I in my mind I had uh, remembered how the uh, what can I say how, how the house used to look when I was little and of course the parents renovated the house and yeah now it looks very modern and things like that but it was the old brick house um, and now it's like uh, insulated and things like that, all the good things. But I was thinking that the fact that yeah, in, in this life things move, uh, they, they move in a way, uh, they move on, you, you cannot really stay stuck. To the past because uh, yeah things move and even as my uh, at, at, as my parents uh, uh, how can I say as my parents uh, house uh, it's starting changing this this is happening everywhere basically uh, things starting to evolve and yeah get updated with the um, with the times and everything that was old, it's really hard to maintain and yeah, to to keep the old architecture and everything. But it was like, in a way, sad for me to realize that because yeah, I'm I like old things and I like uh, things that have a history attached to them, like an old house which is a couple of centuries old or things like that. I, I know that maybe it's not the best, um, like uh, from a matter of building perspective or things like that, but still I, I, I enjoy uh, the old things, but yeah, I, I was thinking that yeah, things have changed a lot, and even in the village and uh, here in Romania, the standards in the village are not very high. Uh, actually, they are quite low, and yeah, I don't think that my father ever dreamt of staying there in his uh, parents' home, having a shower and toilet and running water and yeah, everything. <laughs> but you know, things change, and like 60 years later, he has all of that. 
and uh, he can enjoy living in the uh, countryside and uh, enjoy like the comfort that he had uh, by living in the city and yeah this is quite an achievement also <coughs> In the last couple of years, it used to be like the, um, a dirt road to, to the house, but uh, now it's a really nice. Uh, uh, it's a really nice uh, asphalt road that runs near the house, so you don't have to worry about destroying your car trying to get there and things like that. That yeah, really, really changed and. I, I was thinking that the society also changes a lot and uh, yeah, it's easy to move from one country to another, to find job to an another country, you have the internet, you have everything and uh, basically you have everything that you need. Uh, so you could really find employment very very quickly even in another country which is like uh, almost 2000 kilometers away but yeah being uh, like how can i say these changes which are nice and good and yeah they are nice still um, they they somehow bring I mean I mean I feel throws throws us out of balance. Everything is moving so rapidly. We that we don't even have time to sit and admire something. Uh, we we have everything that we need and. Uh, even more than we need and we are always rushing for something more and yeah the society is moving so fast and everything is new and scary and what 10 years ago was not considered possible now it is and yeah in a way we we enjoy that and it's good to enjoy that but I was thinking that in all these changes and in all these these things that are always changing, one thing that remains the same is God and his character. He doesn't change with the uh, society, he doesn't change with the uh, trends and with the, with the year, he's the same. Like it was 2000 years ago, so he's the same and he will be the same, no matter how the society changes and yeah, this is... My mouth is too dry. And uh, yeah, he is and he will remain the same. And this is very comforting because you know that um, he will not change his rules overnight. He will not uh, say, well, yeah, 10 years ago I said that you can go to heaven by believing in Jesus Christ and repenting of your sins. But now I change because the society change and uh, you you get there if you do that. No, it's, it's the same. The offer of salvation is the same no matter like um, the society how it's changed. Uh, and yeah, it's really comforting to know that uh, I can rely on on something that is unchangeable that doesn't change throughout the years that doesn't change with society that doesn't uh, how can I say um, yeah be unpredictable because yeah the society is very unpredictable and what happens let's say today my and what's available today might not be yeah 
the same tomorrow. And uh, yeah, what is normal today might not be normal tomorrow. No and I'm talking about all these LGBTQ currents. And yeah, I mean, it used to be very simple. There are two genders now, no more. Uh, and uh, yeah, the family, the normal family is between a man and his wife, a man and a woman. And now, with all these changes that the society pushed, and now these changes are pushed actually by the devil through society to, uh, let's say, destroy everything. Now, even the gender is not so simple. There are 200 or something, if not almost 300 genders on this, uh, how can I say? on this uh, moment and I'm like hi I mean and and that was not a thing a few years ago there were two you are either a man or a woman there was no other gender you but now it's it's so many of them and I really don't understand any of them because yeah, it's easy, it's biological, it's not, gender is not something that you, um, you get to choose, no, it's how God created you, you are either a man or a woman, that's it, there is no other thing that you identify with a dog or a cat or a, I don't know, monster or anything else, no, it's, it's simple, but it seems like the society has grown crazy and they are like, no, 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 and it seems like, yeah, mental illnesses are considered normal now, like, identifying with something that uh, you are not, which is a mental illness, by the way, um, thinking that you are something that you are not, um, <laughs> it's like the norm, like mental illnesses, and yeah, it's, it's, so the point I'm trying to make is the fact that, yeah, society changes things a lot, and I don't think they change it for the better, and, um, but God is the same, God keeps telling that sin is sin, and for him sin will not become, uh, holiness, I mean, if it was sinful to be, uh, in an extramarital relationship, or to have sex before marriage, or to lie, or to steal, or to uh, uh, be homosexual, or lesbian, or uh, yeah, all kinds of things, it's still seen today. It, it doesn't change it because the society wants this to be changed and wants this to be uh, normal, and this is comforting. I know that maybe for some it is not. I mean, why can God just uh, get in touch with, um, let's say, times that we are living? But it doesn't work like that. I mean, uh, for him, what was seen 2000 years ago, it's seen now. What was seen in the Garden of Eden is still seen. and. Yeah, th this makes following easy, because you know what he's expecting of you. He doesn't have a set of rules that are changing. He just expects you to be holy and to live a life in which you are doing his will. Of course, you cannot do that if you are not his children. And uh, yeah, just trying to emulate uh, being his children would not make you his children. Um, only repenting, uh, re recognizing that, yeah, you cannot get into heaven by yourself, by your good works, by trying to be good, but you actually need Jesus in your life as Lord and Savior. Uh, this, this is the start, and then, yeah, from there, the, the start of a holy life continues, because if you try to live a moral life and a holy life, but without this 
ingredient without repenting. You are trying to, to justify yourself to God through your own means and yeah, unfortunately you cannot and no, no one uh, was able to. Even in the Old Testament when people were bring, uh, bringing sacrifices, no matter if they were from the Jewish people or not, they were doing that recognizing that they cannot to the, through their own a merit be clean before God they they really could not so the sacrifices were symbolizing that so that yeah someone had to die for them because they could could not uh, be holy by themselves and yeah it's um, it's interesting how how these things work, but yeah, now we are you know ever changing society, and we would want to change God if we could. But the comforting thought is, is unchangeable. It's yeah the same, and this is very good for us as Christians, as we know that we are serving the same God. And if we are serving the same God, we should be careful uh, because He's not only the all compassionate God, but He's also a just God and He has no favorites. And if we can learn something from uh, the um, history of, um, um, of the Jewish people, is that God has no favorites. He doesn't have favorites. Uh, you either live how, um, how he asks you or don't. Anyway, uh, the, we managed to win and get the ill will achievement, divine with Foxbringer heritage. Yay! And that's it for today and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye bye!